So the question today is, Harley, can you please comment and critique do a response video to David Wolf's recent infomercial with Longevity Warehouse called The Sugar Seduction? Now, I've got nothing personal against David Wolf. Don't hate David Wolf. Nothing personal against David Wolf. Yes, for transparency reasons, David Wolf is trying to sue me or was trying to sue me. I don't know. I haven't heard it for a while. In the Supreme Court of San Diego, David Wolf versus Duran Ryder, David Wolf officially filed a lawsuit against me. Why? For me, speaking up, sharing my comments and criticisms, Dave Wolf used a Monsanto style tactic of suppressing an individual's freedom of speech, which I find pretty hypocritical, therefore amusing. So I don't take it personally, nothing against the person against DW. Let's get stuck into it. First claim Dave Wolf compared fruit eaters to cocaine addicts. He said you have to swap one drug for another. So basically, if you eat organic fruit, you grow it for yourself in your backyard, you grow your organic mangoes and bananas. That's the same as you going down and getting cocaine or meth or smack, heroin, bongs, whatever. That's the same thing. You might as well be doing cocaine if you're eating organic bananas and mangoes and melons. It's the same thing according to the world's nutrition leader, David Wolf. Interesting. I'm not even going to go there on that one. Next one, David Wolf says, long-term fruit eating will rot your bones and rot your teeth. Because with so much fruit consumption over the last 10 years, surely eating up to 70 bananas a day, I would have no teeth at all. If that was the case, and all my bones would be nothing. I couldn't run marathons. I couldn't do ultra marathons. But David Wolf, can David Wolf even run around the block? I put my blood tests up on YouTube. Have you ever seen a blood test from David Wolf? David Wolf says that fruit will give you cancer. Well, technically, I should have cancer right now. Doug Graham should have it a long time ago. All the fruit eaters should have cancer. Actually, isn't there a book called The Grape Cure? Or isn't there people who reverse cancer? on a fruit-based intake, whether they do like a mono diet of grapes or bananas and actually reverse cancer. Isn't that the case? Isn't there plenty of books and blogs about these people out there? From memory, I think there is. The Grape Cure. Dave Wolf, look it up. David Wolf says fruit gives you candida, so if you've got candida, stay away from fruit. Yet all the people I know with candida are all eating the low carbohydrate, low fruit diet. And all the people I know who reverse candida eat high fruit, low fat, high carb, vegan lifestyle. And they're not doing the David Wolf candida cleansers, potions, pills, powders, tinctures, elixirs. Just saying. I mean, I've had this conversation with Dave before, and it's pretty hard to convince somebody to understand a concept when their very income depends on them not understanding the concept. So if you've got candida issues, Fruit's Your Friend, Read 801010 by Doug Graham, look it up. Look up all the stuff on our website, 30 bananas a day, all the cases, people reversing their candida issues. High carb, high fruit, no oil. No overt fats, do it for a few weeks, can't eat issues, magically gone. Get the early night, stay hydrated, get some sunshine. Don't waste your money and health on these gimmicky candy to cleanses. David said his friend ate a dozen bananas a day and died of ovarian cancer. Dave didn't go into what else was that person eating. I've personally got fruitarian friends who eat barbecue chicken, chocolate biscuits, who do meth and acid trips, but they call themselves fruitarian and their friends call them fruitarians. And did that person do chemotherapy or radiation therapy? Because I know when my dad did chemo radiation, he lasted six weeks before he died. So it's a sad case there. I wish David went in more, into more detail. David says that fruit leads to adrenal fatigue. I'll tell you what leads to adrenal fatigue is the orthorexia, anorexia. Some people promote of promoting breatharianism. Look it up. I'll tell you what, breatharianism, that'll lead to fucking adrenal exhaustion. Definitely. Anorexia, calorie restriction, that'll fucking definitely lead to adrenal exhaustion. But an even more evident one is the cacao, aka cacao, epidemic that's going on in the raw food community. Dave Wolf telling, don't eat fruit, fruit's bad for your adrenals, but load up on the cacao, which is a fucking stimulant. The, the chemical in cacao, the chemical toxin in cacao is called theobromine. And look up in botany records, theobromine, I'm sorry, it's classified as a neurotoxin. Last time I checked, neurotoxins were not healthy. So Dave, when you're saying organic bananas and organic mangoes are bad, and you're saying crack is healthy when it contains a theobromine neurotoxin, neurotoxin, I think perhaps you're a little confused, just a little bit. And as the world's leading nutrition authority, perhaps you should identify with the consumer that theobromine actually is a neurotoxin. And bananas and mangoes, Last time I checked, they don't have any neurotoxins. David says if you're living in New York eating bananas from Ecuador, that's a bad thing because you don't live in Ecuador. But David Wolf forgets where cacao comes from. Cacao doesn't come from New York City. But last time I was in New York City, there was David Wolf chocolate bars, which were 
from Ecuador selling in New York City. Oh, <laughs> maybe that was like a logistics error because only David Wolf's products from Ecuador should be sold in Ecuador according to David Wolf's local eating philosophy where you shouldn't eat anything that's not grown outside your area. So I guess David Wolf's chocolate market isn't the US, it's actually based in Ecuador. And then Dave Wolf talks about honey, how honey is better than fruit. I'll tell you what, honey's a refined sugar. Honey has no fiber. And the honeys David Wolf's selling is not local. It's got pollens from all different parts of the world. A lot of those pollens can be toxic, like poison ivy, oleander, things like that, Salvation Jane. They can be toxic pollens, which cause, can cause a toxicological response in your immune system. So when David Wolf says, don't eat fruit, if it's not grown locally to you, but you better yet don't eat fruit at all, and then buy goji berries from China when you're living in Alabama or San Diego or Sydney, Australia, buy goji berries from China as long as they're from Dave Wolf's website. I find that's like just contradiction after contradiction. I'm not even going to go into the rest. I was going to keep this a short video. I could go on for another hour of the contradictions Dave Wolf makes, but I'm not going to go on about it. I've done enough of that. So enough of it personally is Dave. So if Dave Wolf's theories on sugar were true, which they're not, all the long-term fruit munchers that you know, like Roger Hesker and Osborne, Doug Graham, blah, 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 myself, all the long-termers would have no bones, would have no teeth, would have no fitness, would have no immune system, would have no adrenal response. Based on David Wolf's theories, David Wolf sells xylitol. What is xylitol? Xylitol's made in a factory. It's a white refined powder. It's a white refined sugar sweetener. It's a white refined product made in a factory, sold to you, lightweight, expensive, packaged product, Stevia. You don't find stevia powder in nature or stevia liquid in nature. You find fruit in nature. Eat fruit. Don't eat foods in the factory. Don't believe the superfood dude, infomercial, salesy, snake oil tactics, in my opinion. Just saying, thanks for watching. You came for the truth. You got the truth. Click like, subscribe for more truth bomb videos. And my personal message to David Wolf is get yourself in shape, mate, because the world's nutrition authority should not be a little pudgy. Just saying.